This trail ride was a members only ride through Off-Road Passport Group. We really liked how well organized they are with each outing. If you're unaware, this group is an Arizona-based, non-vehicle-specific off-roading community uh, with both free and members-only events. Trail information and organizing of each ride is done on the forum with very clear communication from the trip leader. Go check out their website if you're interested. Link is in our description. This particular trail ride was five trails connected together. The route was mostly made up of portions of each individual trail. Starting with Scrawl Peak from Camp Verde to Reimer? Is it Reimer? I don't know. Dugas Road? Is it Douglas? Maybe. Silver Creek and then Bloody Basin Road, which take us to Black Canyon City. All the trail information can be found on Trails Off-Road website, one of our favorite trail guides online. Four of the trails in this route can only be accessed with paid membership, but it is well worth it to us. We love the turn-by-turn -turn instructions with photos. Link to their website is in the description below. Most of Squall Peak was pretty smooth and easy ride. A lot of this ride is open upper Sonoran Desert landscape with possible cattle grazing. Since it is slightly higher in elevation, no saguaro grow here. It's more like an open plains desert view. Reimer is a section of the Great Western Trail within the Prescott National Forest. Did you mean Reimer? God damn it. The Great Western Trail is a north-south collection of tracks that run from Arizona to Montana. Now we are on Dugas. Was it Dugas? Only in Chinese. Damn. Here we are crossing Little Sycamore Creek right before Dugas Ranch. We decided to drive on through without stopping because the buildings are on private property. Then we turned on to Silver Creek. This section was a little more fun and Trails Off-Road rated this to be a moderate trail. There's a bit more rocks and ruts to navigate as well as larger crossing of actual Sycamore Creek. And remember, if gates have no instructions, leave them how you found them. So we stopped at Sycamore Creek. The leader was just taking a minute to scope out the more rocky section ahead. And he confirmed even the stock vehicles will have no problem. And we took the opportunity to get some glamour shots in the water for Insta. Since we all know if you don't have pictures to prove it, it didn't happen.
We took a short lunch break at a nice open spot. We got to chat with other members and learn more about them and the club. Then we jumped onto Bloody Basin Road. This is a pretty smooth and relatively fast road in terms of off-roading. So we just cruised one out. We stopped and aired up at the staging area before we jumped on Interstate 17. We made sure to thank our guide and said our goodbyes. Hope you enjoyed this trail report. Please check out our other videos.